Welcome to the Education Matrix channel. Sandy Ingram here, a retired expat traveling the world now in Mexico. Registered with IRS since 1999. In today's video, we talk about OPEC and how the OPEC agreement is causing financial difficulty for Iraq. We also documented the relations between Iraq and Israel to ensure that you understand the international issues that may be affecting our IQD investment. I wrote a book a couple of years back outlining what Bush Sr. said about the war and the U.S. financing the war. The ebook talks about how other currencies have revalued and provided wealth for investors. We can only hope that our IQD investment will provide the same scenario. <laughs> Now, I know many of you do not have a favorable response to the free encyclopedia. However, this information is true and correct. Iraq does not recognize Israel, and consequently, the two countries do not have any formal diplomatic relations. Now, Iraq declared war on the newly established Jewish state in 1948, and since then, the two countries have technically been in a state of war. Iraq forces participated in wars against Israel in 1967 and 1973. Now, if you remember, my last video talked about this very, very touchy, touchy subject and that the world financial market, the Forex market, more than likely was not interested in having a financial war on the platform, the Forex market platform, and would want Iraq to recognize all the members or the foreign seas the foreign currencies that are listed on the Forex exchange market. This is just an update, and as I have said before, this is probably one of the non-verbal conditions to Iraq, the Iraqi dinar revalue. Remember in a recent video, I told you that oil prices for Asia and the U.S. would drop I expressed that this decision concerned me and certainly others in the oil industry. The article implied that the oil industry might be having a problem with pricing stability after the pandemic. Now, oilprice.com is telling us Iraq may have a problem complying with the OPEC agreement. Between September 1st and 15th of 2020, Iraq's crude oil export stood at 3.26 million barrels per day, which stands for BPD. And this was 8% higher than the August average. This is according to Bloomberg stats. And I would be the first to say that unless you are there in Iraq, you don't actually know what Iraq is doing. What we do know is oil accounts for up to 95% of all of Iraq's revenue, government revenue. And when OPEC members all agree on lowering the output, this hurts Iraq's economy. Now, if you're new to this channel, you are probably asking yourself, what the hell does Iraq's oil industry have to do with the revalue of the Iraqi dinar? The answer is simple. All countries have seven basic factors which help determine a country's foreign currency rate. The oil factor has to do with Iraq's national debt and plays an important part of the revalue process. <laughs> 